Here is a numerical problem on Maxwell's equation. Let us solve. Let us read the problem. A parallelepiped capacitor with plate area. So, parameters related to parallelepiped capacitor are given. Plate area is given as 5 centimeters square. Plate separation, that is D, generally we write it as <clears throat> 3 mm. As a voltage, that is AMF, is 50 sine 10 cube T volts applied to its plates. This is its plates. Its plates. Calculate the displacement current, that is ID is what if epsilon is equal to 2 epsilon naught. So the data given, point to be noted here is, there is a parallel bit capacitor across which a voltage is applied. That means EMF is developed or EMF is induced in whatever the manner. We have to find that the displacement current through the capacitor. Okay. So let us proceed now. We have two equations to find displacement current. So we know that uh, the displacement current is equal to conduction current in capacitor, that is parallel plate capacitor. And it's already proved in the previous video. So now we can find either displacement current or conduction current. Both will yield the same results. So whichever is comfortable can be handled here. For example, if you want ID, which can be taken as JD into area, the displacement current density into area, and displacement current density is given by dot D by dot D into area. And we know that D is epsilon times the electric field E. So we have this relation. But electric field can be calculated from potential or EMF using the relation V by D. So here epsilon dou by dou T of V by D A. V is given in the numerical problem itself. So epsilon A divided by D are known already. They are given the problem itself. So this can be calculated using the equation containing these parameters. On the contrary, the other possibility is also there. That is, you can also find the conduction current, which is equal to the displacement current using the relation C into dV by dt. C is the capacitance of the capacitor and dV by dt. Look at this list, this one and this one, both are absolutely same. So you can use any one of the methods to find the current through the capacitor. So it is asked to find ID. So epsilon, epsilon is given as two epsilon naught. Plate area is given as five centimeters square. So which can be written as five centimeters should be converted to meter. One meter is equal to 10 power minus two centimeter. So in place of centimeter, we write 10 power minus two, then it becomes meter. 
divided by the distance of separation is 3 millimeter that is 3 to 10 power minus 3 3 mm and now the differentiation of the voltage with respect to time let us see what is that given 50 sin 10 cubed t 50 sin 10 cube t to be taken as voltage, sinusoidal voltage. So now let us simplify here 2 into 8.854 to 10 power minus 12. That is the absolute permittivity. 5 into 10 power minus 4 minus 2 whole square divided by 3 milli the denominator and we have to differentiate this equation now 50 remains constant differentiation of sine is cos of 10 cube t into 10 cube into 10 cube so we can multiply the terms in the amplitude of the cos, all of them put together. So we may get ID as 147.57. You check this calculation using calculator before copying as it is 10 cube T nano amps nano amps so this is what is the required answer for this numerical problem thank you